Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Trapped in Higashi. It is the morning of day 33 and we got some zombies. Let me just pop this hatch up because I do have a ladder in place. And I got this loot bag sitting here that I've been waiting to get it with you guys just in case there's like a beaker inside or something we need. But of course there's not. I think my loot is broken, honestly. Or it's just the game. This game loves to not give you the things you need. The base is uh, looking good. It's ready to go for the fight tonight. As you can see, I put 40 torches up on the wall. Hopefully, those attract a screamer here this morning. And I know it's kind of silly to call in a screamer horde the day of the actual horde, but we need all the looty bags we can get because we're not getting the things we need. It's like a numbers game now. So we'll see. Uh, I'll keep the vitamin. I decided to put the uh, torches up here on the second floor instead of down here on the first floor, just in case shit gets out of hand. I could always just pull the ladder up, and then the zombies can't get up there, and I can take my time pulling the torches down off the wall, you know? Anyway. Uh, I got nothing really else to do here. I mean, I could continue to grind for cobblestone. Ooh, there's another loot bag right here. Uh, monies. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. But I don't really feel like grinding anymore. Hey, look at this. Another bag. Nope. Uh, okay. I'll take the food. I'm going to get hungry eventually. I guess that's it. Now we wait. Hey, buddy. Come on in. Let's go. Everyone's welcome. Booby trap. Let's give the boobies nipples. There we go. Bored out of my fucking mind. Uh, anything in here I forgot to harvest for wood? Oh, shit. What the hell? We're getting respawns? How the hell are we getting respawns? I got a land claim block in place. We shouldn't be getting respawns. That's weird. Kind of interesting, though. Shit, let's go through the building. Maybe you can get some loot bags right here without having to call in a screamer. I mean, I'm going to keep the uh, torches on the wall, because what the hell? Bring on a screamer, too. Let me grab a little more wood right here. And we'll go check around the building. See if there are more zombies. Now, I meant to mention this in the last episode because it was day 30 and I checked. No loot has respawned. I do have the loot respawn time set to 30 days. I checked again um, before I started recording here. Nothing. And I destroyed most of the containers in this building, but there are a couple of boxes up on the roof. And I checked those first because I figure I'm the farthest away from those and uh, nothing again. So, um... It's just, uh, I think you have to be pretty far away from, uh, you know, whatever building where you expect loot to respawn in. Like, if we wanted the loot to respawn in this building, we would have to travel pretty far away from it and then come back and then, I guess, it would respawn. I don't think it's gonna, if you're inside the building. Oh, this is a mess. I guess I should clean this up real quick, huh? I'm going to need the stone anyway. Oh, shit. There's another one. Oh, and uh, I just woke up yet another one. Hey. Got to be quicker than that, buddy. What the hell? My land claim block ain't doing its job. I mean, that's fine, you know? I, I honestly didn't want a land claim block down because I want the zombies to respawn, but the land claim block is doing a nice job at that doorway on, on the second floor, so I've just been keeping it there. I don't need rifle parts. But yeah, just uh, strange. Strange that we're getting zombies to respawn, but the loot won't respawn. Oh, here we are. I don't think the zombies on the roof will respawn. Uh, hey, buddy, stop it. 
Because uh, the majority of the zombies on the roof uh, spawn on the helipad, and the helipad does not exist anymore. So I don't think they can respawn. I don't know. We're going to go check anyway, so we'll find out. Well, the whites in these containers did not respawn. What about the pigs? No? That's a shame. Any zombies up here? I guess not. Oh, we got a screamer. That's good. Still plenty early. I don't think any of them made it up the ladder yet. I think she might be stuck outside. Because I did repair all the walls. That's what it sounds like. Yep. There she is. All right, you finish breaking that. Good job. Yeah, she's still screaming. Oh, there's two of them. All right, let's get upstairs. There goes the first screamer, but I'm pretty sure she screamed all she could scream. His second one. Ah, uh, whatever. There's another one. Good. Oh, there might be two more. That's fine. Bring them on. It's still early. We got plenty of time before the horde. At some point, though, we're going to want to go pull those torches. Otherwise... We might get stuck in, like, an infinite loop of screamers here. Shut up, lady. Okay, I think this is about enough. I can't tell how many screamers are left, but there's at least one more. And I hear a lot of footsteps, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull these torches. Well, one of those loot bags is preventing me from putting this uh, ladder in. So I guess we'll just kill him from up here. I still can't put the ladder in. Still quite a lot of zombies left like a big boy making his way up here. Oh, uh, maybe not. This might be the last of them. Quite a lot of bags we managed to uh, round up, though. Forge ahead. 46 is 75. We're definitely unlocking the chem station tonight. We might even do it right now, before tonight. But like I said numerous times in the last episode, not much we can do once we unlock it until we find a beaker and five bottles of acid. Level 6 steel spear. It's a shame, but I'm tossing it. I'm never going to use it. I'm a knife guy. Hey, back up, Kenny. Honey. Ah, this book gives you a chance to harvest honey from trees. I could have used that in the last Trapped Inside series when I was dying of an infection. And I had, like, a garden of fucking trees planted. 
Like I said, this game loves to not give you the shit you need when you need it. Well, that was fun, but unfortunately, it did not help our cause. Let's head up to the fifth floor. I want to buy some learning elixirs out of the vending machine. I forgot to do that. All right, here we go. Night 33. Got a belly full of vitamins, and we'll take this XP multiplier. And Recog wants the zombies make their way in here. And, uh, pretty much same old song and dance. You know how it goes. Got a rifle and an M60, and we got an SMG tonight. Not that I think I'm going to need it, but why the hell wouldn't I bring it, you know? Radiated cop right off the bat. Another one. Hey, get back here. Don't you do anything stupid. Another radiated cop. That's like the one flaw of this base is there's really no protection from cop puke. We're kind of sitting ducks up here. Obviously no real protection from birds either except the second story considering we're inside. I have had a couple of birds get in here through the roof. But since I've sealed it up, we've been pretty good. Occasionally, I do hear birds outside. Oh, see? Son of a bitch. If I'm not paying attention and the cop comes in, we're getting puked on. That's just the way it goes. Oh, well, now it's getting ridiculous. You know, if we hang back here, we are pretty much protected from cop puke. But then the zombies start beating on the main structure, and I was trying to avoid that this early on in the night. Oh yeah, machine guns are fun. Oh, well, hold on a sec there, Mr. Officer. Let me just reload. Dead. Eh, fuck it, we might as well rip through a bunch of ammo, right? I need to make the storage space. Cop. Some of that got in my mouth, and I swallowed it. That's what she said. Got some demolishers that have arrived. Let's try and safely take them out. Come on, dude. One at a time. Mm, fucking cops. Now I can't see shit. Oh, shit! No! Damn it! Oh, we got one of them. Well, that's not a great start. Okay, got two of them. It is what it is. Listen, I'm not a marksman. I'm gonna hit that button every once in a while. Get the fuck out of here, you shitheads! Oh, this is... This is not great. What have they done here? They, uh, pretty much made a way up. Oh, no. Really? The base is gonna fail this early on? What the hell? This has been doing great so far. Shit. What do we do? I don't want to run upstairs now. It's too early. They will destroy that hatch so quickly. And I don't know if the double doors can handle such a large horde. Let's go out here. Sometimes the scaffolding bars, like, screw them up. See? They don't know what to fucking do. It's so strange. If you make like a chessboard using blocks and scaffolding bars, they're so confused. It's like they don't want to walk on the bars. They're like cats and the bars are like aluminum foil. They just won't fucking walk on it. It's working out. I mean, we are like a prime target for cop puke right now, but I can't really worry about that. I should try and fix this, but they keep making their way up here. Uh, 
Well, what else can we do? If they stop coming up, then I'll try and fix it. Otherwise, uh, we'll just keep shooting them as they come up. And if it does get too crazy up here and they start rushing me, then we'll make a run for it. We'll get up to the third floor with the double doors and we'll deal with them there. So far, though, it's working out pretty good. This is like a great base idea in and of itself. Letting them up to where you are, but making them so confused as to where to go and what to do. I wonder if it's the bars themselves. Like, what if this was all scaffolding bars? Would they still avoid walking on it? Or is it because it's bar block, bar block? Is that what's screwing them up? I don't know. I have to do some tests. We might have something here. Well, let's break her in. Uh, she needs a drum magazine. And a few other mods. This has always been one of my favorite guns in the game, but you gotta dress her up. Bone stock, she's a little lame. Damn oh, son of a bitch. Turn my back for a second, and that guy was on me. He's the first one to make it this far, though. So it is possible. But it's it's not common. For the most part, they really don't know what to do. Or they move like one block at a time and then just kind of stand there or beat down like they're doing now. I wonder what would happen if I built this one block off the ground. Just put down blocks right on the floor with spacers in between them and then filled in those spacers with scaffolding bars and brought on a horde and stood in the middle. I wonder how they would react. Alright, I'm going to try and seal it up bag out of the way. Whatever. Good for now. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I'm hearing demolishers, so I want to try and safely take care of them. Well, of course, they're the ones beating through the blocks here. Shit. Okay. Got one. Well, back out here we go. Hey, damn, lady. See that they jump. They jump over the scaffolding bars. Oh no, she's she's making it across. One block at a time, little zigzag pattern. That's probably what it would be like if I uh, if I did build this one block off of the ground, made it bigger and stood in the middle, it'd be like fucking space invaders. You know, you gotta kill them before they get to you. Nice. Oh, shit. Demolisher poked his head up. Got him. Gotta go. Well, they broke a block right there so they can get up to the second floor. So the hatch at that second floor doorway is not going to work. So they can just get up this way and get around to where I am. So unless we can clear this out and then seal that up so they can't get up here, then we're going to just have to go right for the third floor to the double doors. Fuck off, Kenny. Here we go. Got him. Look, they like can't even get up here anymore. Let's put a block in right there. We should be good.
All right, that cop's down, and I don't hear any more demolishers, so let's make a move for the second floor. Got to bring our ladders down. Ow! Oh, shit! Oh, I didn't know this guy was up here. And uh, they're getting up. Oh, no! No, no, no. Uh, I can't go this way. Oh, got a little hairy there for a second, but we're okay. Well, this is definitely going to call in a screamer or two. But that's fine. I don't mind. All right, we got to go. Uh, I'm pretty positive you can't use a plaster cast on a sprained arm, but I'll try anyway. That's a sprain, not a break. Nope. Can't do it. Had to try, though. Because if I didn't, there'd be someone in the comments that's like, uh, He had a sprained arm and threw a plaster cast on the floor. Those are literally the worst comments in YouTube history. The ones that just say what happened in the video. Oh, he said this and then he did that. Hey, motherfuckers, I'm narrating this shit. Not you, so take it easy. There she is. And there's a dog. Uh, I think the dog's stuck. Yeah. All right. Uh, she did get out like half a scream before I killed her, so we might have another group showing up. Let's get up here and put the ladder in place. Yeah. All right. Just means more bags for us. Weighted head mod. We can't put that on the machete, can we? I don't think so. Oh, uh, why do the loot gods hate me? Just give me a friggin' engine. I could totally see us getting an engine and a battery and then just being stuck without gas. Put that bandolier mod on our chest piece. I'll increase uh, reload speed. Here we go. I knew there was uh, at least a couple more red bags. Son of a bitch, man. That's it, I think, on the on the red ones. Man, what are we looking at in terms of a loot stage? 366. I guess that's good. I don't know what that number maxes out at. Uh, our level is 89 and our game stage is 342. I think the game stage maxes out at 720. I could be wrong about that. Muzzle brake mod. We can throw that on the rifle. Forge ahead. 49 to 75. One more. And we unlock the camp station. There it is. Chem station unlocked. 50 Forge Ahead books. Took us uh, 33 days to find them. Can't do anything, though, until we find a beaker and five bottles of acid. The other stuff we have, or can make, you know, the three uh, cooking pots, we can make those in the forge. I don't know, I'm not feeling too good about it. I mean, we haven't found one bottle of acid in a loot bag, have we? I don't think so.
Magnum, level one Magnum. We can craft now. I got so much 44 ammo, but I don't think it's really worth it. Need a little bit of steel and some springs. I could manage five springs, but a level one Magnum, I guarantee you, if not tonight, very soon, we will find a level six Desert Eagle in one of these bags. It's just a matter of time, so not even going to waste my time with a level one Magnum. Another forge ahead, Buck. The next unlock for those is at 75, and that's the Crucible, but we don't need that anymore. We already have the chassis, and uh, got plenty of steel, and we can't upgrade cobblestone blocks with steel. We would need to upgrade them to concrete first. So the whole mission to gather steel was for the chassis, and then we wound up just finding the fucking chassis. Uh, I mean, steel is uh, a useful item, that's for sure. And uh, probably consider taking that with me if we do get out of here. Lucky looter goggles, and they are better than the ones I'm wearing, so we're going to switch them out. I totally missed that last time, and I scrapped the better ones, and you guys pointed that out, so thank you. Because uh, if you didn't, I probably would have just scrapped those again. <laughs> And now we got better lucky looter goggles. Maybe that's what we needed. Well, that's the last blue bag, so... Any hope we had for an engine or a battery? You can throw that out the window. I mean, we still could get a battery if we... happen to find five bottles of acid in a beaker in these yellow bags. I don't see that happening, though, unfortunately. And that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't think I missed any. And we basically didn't get anything tonight to help us along the way, except for the last few Forge Ahead books. So we did unlock the chem station. But other than that, nothing other than ammo, food, uh, more recogs, more coins, so we can buy more XP multipliers. Just the shit that's going to keep us going, you know? Have us uh, survive until the next horde, which will be what? Day 36? So, I got some work to do. And if I can get it all done in a reasonable time, then maybe we'll do the same thing in the next episode that we did in this episode, which is on the morning of day 36. We'll try and bring on a screamer horde before the regular horde, just gives us more opportunities to get the things that we're going to need. So, that's what we'll do. I got seven skill points to spend here. I mean, we should probably max out Deadeye. We need to get Perception to level 10. Oh. Oh, three points. I only have two left. Well, wow. that went quick. All right. Um, I can max out Penetrator, and then I guess we'll save that one point until we get two more, and then we'll max out Perception, and then max out Deadeye. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to the next one. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. If you want to support the channel further, the link to my Patreon is down below. You guys can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Trapped in Higashi, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.